You know, so why in the world are people moving to Tuscaloosa so much? Welcome to all the people moving here. I mean, we appreciate the fact that you're kicking the tires and that you're watching this video. So we just want to go over a few reasons why we think so many people are moving here. And, you know, is that going to change any time in the future? How is that going to be affected by the economy, all that kind of stuff? So we've been living here a long time. Um, my family moved to the Tuscaloosa area in 96. 99. Okay, so we've been living here ever since. And the last couple years has been really, really crazy. Really the last two years, we've seen a big increase in folks relocating to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. So why do you think it is? What are some reasons you think? Um, well, so one, I think University of Alabama, of course. It's, it's our largest employer here. Um, a close second would probably be the Mercedes factory and all of its suppliers. So um, we got a lot of industry, a capstone for higher education. That's a sports yeah. A sports facility, if you will. Um, I think those are probably the major draws. And then I would imagine um, versus other parts of the country, it's you can get a lot for your money. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I, I, I agree. We have a lot of jobs here. Um, you know, there used to not be a ton here. Like when we were, were younger, we were growing up, there wasn't but just a handful of places for people to really work here. But now we do have the Mercedes plant, which continues to grow um, all those suppliers that supply them. The University of Alabama has more than doubled in size since Nick Saban came here to coach the Crimson Tide. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Ten um, years ago. Yeah, so so there's, there's more people that they need on campus for faculty and staff and for groundskeepers and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I do think we are starting to see as well the effects of COVID uh, down here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. So a lot of companies during the coronavirus, they started sending their employees home and said, hey, just work from home. <clears throat> just work from home. You don't need to come into the office. And then they just kept that going and they said, hey, this is actually really good. We don't really need this huge office space and we can get just as much done with our employees not coming into work. And so those employees were like, well, hey, I don't need to live 10 minutes away from downtown Denver, Colorado in a $800,000 townhome can move over to Alabama and buy a $250,000 house and be in a really, really good neighborhood, really good school zone. So I think we're seeing a lot of that. I think obviously the weather is a pretty good draw here. Um, I think um, Tuscaloosa is kind of like a big, small town. So we have some of the bigger restaurant chains and retailers here that you would get in a big city mm -hmm. without it actually being a big city. You know, I mean, you drive through downtown Tuscaloosa, there's five or six different blocks of like traffic lights and everything and then you're through the city so i think it kind of has that small town feel for folks that want that but it's not so small town that there's nothing to do here right and it's also close proximity to other places so if if you're from a really big city like a chicago or, or los angeles i mean this is going to seem like a tiny tiny town um, for you guys, but it has a lot to do, but because it's close to Birmingham, which has even more to do, I think we're right at four and a half hours from the beach, so the Gulf Coast. We have an amazing Gulf Coast. Um, Florida, not only our beach, but Florida is really close. Um, Florida beaches are great as well, so um, we're just in a really good area where we have good, you know, it doesn't get super cold here, a good climate. Um, we'll, We'll get some tornadoes. Yeah. There will be a tornado. Maybe this week. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Um, but we're, I think I think we're in a great location and have a lot of accessibility to other places. We're three hours from Memphis. Um, we're about three hours from Nashville. Um, we're right in an hour from Birmingham and about four hours from the beach. So, yeah. And we're three hours from Atlanta. So you can be in a huge city um, in, just a, in just a half a day's drive. Yeah, yeah. And there's tons of flights going out from Birmingham to Nashville, Atlanta to Dallas, and if you can get to those three airports there, you can get pretty much anywhere in the world. So, so I think it's just a combination of factors. I think it's just the cost of living here is pretty low compared to most of the rest of the country. 
property taxes, all that are pretty low here. Good climate, good job, good place to live, um, plenty of stuff to do. It's not that huge, you know, metropolitan area that's just traffic like crazy and people like crazy. It's it's just a big, small town. And, and I think what we're seeing right now in Tuscaloosa is that it is growing, but it's growing out. It's growing out further. And so it's not really going up. We're not really seeing a whole lot of like skyscrapers and anything like that. I mean, what's the tallest building in downtown Tuscaloosa? Like uh, 10 maybe, stories, maybe? Maybe nine, maybe eight. Maybe. It's maybe. a bank, trust Mark. Yeah, it's a bank that's been there forever and it might be 10 stories tall. That's the biggest building in town. So. So if you like, you know, that big small town feel, you still want to have access to plenty of places to go out to eat, to have fun, to go do fun things, um, but still kind of feeling like you're in a small town, Tuscaloosa is probably a good fit for you. And I think that's going to continue for quite a while. we got a lot of, of land to stretch out on out here, so I don't that's think right. that's going to be changing anytime soon. And one thing you mentioned, property taxes, just to give you an example, um, <clears throat> I have a house um, outside of town. It's in the county. It's on four acres with my homestead exemption. My property taxes are three hundred and fifty bucks. So for, for the year. For the year. Not per month. Correct. So <laughs> some of you guys that are say in New York or whatever that you know, <laughs> that that's kind of like a joke to you guys. But yeah. just to give you a real life example, um, four bedroom, three bath house um, on four acres. Our property taxes are three hundred fifty bucks yeah. per year. So anyway. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop the comments. Um, drop your questions in the comments. Reach out. Feel free to subscribe. We'd love to um, love to have you subscribe to our channel, and uh, and we'll see you guys in the next one.